y'all. My name is Sam Darrow. I'm a second year undergraduate student in the composition studio here at the Butler School of Music. And tonight you will be hearing my string quartet entitled Light Clockwork. Uh, this piece was actually the first project that I took on when I arrived at UT as a freshman. It was originally intended to be a solo piano piece, but eventually as it developed, I felt it to be more fitting as a piece for string quartet. It was put on the back burner for a little while while I took on some other projects but I pretty recently put the finishing touches on it and I'm really, really excited to finally show it to y'all. Thank you and hope you enjoy.
So, Matt, what inspired you to write Takata? What notation software do you use? Minecraft or CoolMathGames.com? Which UT composition professor would likely survive best in the wild? Do you like music? What do you do for fun? How many rooms do you have? What do you see in these creases? You are transparent. Enter this box.
Hi, I'm Sophie and I'm a first year master's student in the UT Composition Department. And tonight you're gonna hear a new solo version of my piece called Here and Now. The original version of this piece um, was a commission for a piece for Baroque cello and poetry. The poetry being presented in a recorded format. So it was really Baroque cello and fixed media with the fixed media being a recording of a poem. And I really was really liking the material I was working with in this piece and wanted to see if I could sort of make myself a new solo version that I could play with my modern cello. And I did some small edits to the pacing of the piece so that it sort of flowed together a bit better without, you know, the poem with it and did some edits also to the texture to make it sort of pop more in a context where it's not accompanying this spoken text. So that's the version you're going to hear tonight and I hope you enjoy.
Hey peeps, I'm Mole, and I'm not going to look at the camera the whole time since I'm reading off a script. Anyway, I wrote We Are the Snakes in fall 2020, based on a four measure tune that my brother, who's five years younger than me, and I used to sing probably around 2008 or 2009. And we did this while playing with shoelaces, which we pretended were snakes, and they had the special power to control the clouds, which would roll past the sun and make it darker and lighter again in the room because we would be in the shadow. Anyway, it was the only song we ever sang aside from Happy Birthday, and I never wrote down the melody until um, last year. Yeah, so it was in my head, basically, for about a dozen years. And only then did I realize how jazzy it sounded. So I wrote a jazz piano piece based on it. I had written a few short uh, jazz-influenced piano pieces before, but nothing of this scale, because I wanted something um, as splendid as possible as a tribute to my childhood. I was very happy to have the guidance of Omar Thomas, so a big thank you to him. I hope you enjoy.
is Madeline Steiskel. I'm a first year master's student in composition at the Butler School of Music, where I study with Dr. Donald Grantham. Now it's no secret that this past year has laid bare a collective need for connection and has become the impulse for a lot of new collaborations. In that spirit of collaboration, we present a work created across time and space. Straight Jacket Ballerina is a song off the Jim Jars Manners Quarantine EP, which my brothers and I released in 2020. This album was curated and edited by my brother, Matthew Steiskel, while I was in Moscow and my brothers were located in different states around the US. But distances aside, we passed around our own recordings of our improvisations on our respective instruments and in accumulation, we added our own contributions. And for Straight Jacket Ballerina, I recorded the piano track first. Matthew then added electronic, electric guitar and percussion. You'll hear some post-minimalist influences from my end, some art rock from his. This is the result of our navigating the differences between our genres. Now today we're joined by Emily Novak, who has added a new dimension of imagination. She is our choreographer, dancer, and video editor. Hope you enjoy Straight Jacket Ballerina. Hello, my name is Thomas Rodriguez. I'm a third year Bachelor of Arts in Music student at the Butler School of Music. Uh, this next piece you're going to hear is called Fake Sea Shanties. It's a three movement piece for violin and viola. Um, the first movement, the first one, was, first one was kind of where it all started. I was writing this, just started writing something for violin and viola and like kind of sounded a bit like piratey, sounded maybe it was like, sort, of, sort of like a sea shanty or something like that. I was like, well, I'll just keep going on with this. Um, then the second movement, it was like the sinking in like 1912, this like large ship. Um, so I kind of was inspired by that, you know, the tragedy of all of it, whatnot. whatnot. Um, yeah, it's a really big ship that sank, I don't know. But um, yeah, and then the third movement, um, I sort of had the back of my mind this piece by uh, Rimsky Korsakov. I can't remember. I think it was something like Scheherazade or something like that. I don't really remember, but um, I don't know. I'm not really sure. But anyway, I was kind of just sort of piece. I was really inspired by how it went. It had some sort of shape related content in it. I thought, oh, that's nice. Sort of keep going with that. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much about this piece. Um, I hope you enjoy the uh, fake. Sea shanties. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 